We're still under caution here at New Hampshire. Inside the TNT pit window, trouble for Rusty Wallace. Rusty makes, comes in to make a pit stop. We see the official waving back up. You're over the line. Let's go on board with Rusty Wallace. And once again, watch the official when he comes in. Frantically waving back up, back up. You're over the line. Rusty didn't back up, so therefore he was held for one lap. All kinds of pit strategy here. Two tires, no tires, some with four tires. Mark Martin, pit strategy to get to the lead from the 12th spot. Well, he's gonna get those points. You know, guys leading the lap, real important, those bonus points. Jeremy Mayfield runs second. Mark, Mark Martin, how about it, Matt? He said the car was very good, so they took two tires on that stop. Really, they've been making small adjustments, no adjustments on a stop before. Just a slight air pressure adjustment on that stop, Bill. That's one of those deals, like the last time we saw the leaders change two tires, all the other guys change four. 30 laps later, the caution comes out, so the leader's got to change four, everyone else changes two. And you got Harvick down there stuck on the bottom right now. He needs to get by that slower car because he's getting passed by a lot of cars right now because he's pinned down. There he goes. Matt Kenseth was 27th on the previous restart after that trouble on his pit stop. Now he has used pit strategy to get to the sixth spot and is moving forward from there. Tom Bud. In fifth spot right now. It's amazing how quickly he's been able to get this car back in contention. We knew the car was good. Yeah, the car talk was about good. That. Yep. Oh, Brian Vickers, a 25 car, almost lost control off turn two. He tried to get under the 17 car and turn it, stood on the accelerator, and almost spun up Munry. There's Tony Stewart, who has dominated so far today, but now runs in the eighth spot. Here are some of the stories in the chase for the next Tell Cup. Kurt Busch in the wall on lap three. Matt Kenseth is recovering from that trouble on his pit stop. Carl Edwards is all the way back in 28th. Rusty Wallace pitting outside the box under the last caution. Currently runs 31st. One lap down. Tony Stewart, the 20 car, trying to get by Kenseth. Could not quite make the pass happen. And that's what really hurts for Rusty is being that one lap down. He has got to be, he's got to get in front of Jimmy Spencer and his brother Mike Wallace to be the lucky dog because he's got trouble. There's, oh, several cars are involved. Jimmy started Spencer, with a 50. 42 is spinning down there. Jamie McMurray, I don't know if he made contact or not, but. So 43 of Jeff Green. Caution is out. See some damage to the right rear of McMurray's car. That doesn't look like that would be. Okay, now that's Mike Wallace gets the lucky dog. Jimmy Spencer is out, so Rusty Wallace will be the first car one lap down. So he's in a position to get that lap back. And he's probably, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he won't get one. He's got some start. damage yeah, on his sure car. Does. Right there, There's he's why. with Spencer, yeah. Now he's got damage on the right front. They may have to come in. They may have to come in and repair that because of that contact. Joe Nemechek did a nice job hanging on to his ride there. On board with Earnhardt. See Rusty go down in there. And the car just slid loose. Similar to what the 10 and the 97 did earlier in the race. Now here's Nemechek. Go ahead. There's to see where he got the damage to the right rear of McMurray's car. He had the left front of the Nemechek car. Now. And it looked like somebody tagged Nemechek. That's why he got sideways. So the caution is out. Mike Wallace is the lucky dog. As Wally pointed out, you're watching NASCAR on TNT.